It's a Thalmeyer Petzl 2B lens and it's about 140 years old. I better not drop it. And I'm Julia and let's get things started. My name is Markus Hofstetter and I'm an artist and photographer from Austria. I do mainly portraits, weddings and wet plates. Today we're gonna do an experiment. I shoot a portrait on a collodion wet plate and I also shoot a digital version of this portrait. The digital version goes to Matthew, you know the weird lens guy, you guys know him. And he tries to make uh, out of this digital version a uh, collodion wet plate version like in Photoshop. So this is gonna be interesting and I was so looking forward to do that with him. Hey, oh, you, you got pretty close, I have to. That's really cool. Yeah, this is yours. And this is the original, so you're not that far away. The color is a little bit off maybe, but this is mainly because of the white balance, I think. I was expecting that the eyes, uh, you see how shallow, uh, that the depth of field, how shallow it is. I was expecting to get the eyes really white, like you did in your picture, but they didn't somehow. I think it's sometimes it's, it's uh, the difference of, uh, of the chemicals I use. And, but if you look at the, at the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the freckles. It's pretty yeah. similar what you did and what the camera did. Every time I see a, a, a wet plate portrait, uh, the freckles are really, really strong. So I think it's like a way to reproduce the effect is to to boost the freckles, even if you yeah. don't have freckles uh, for, for a start. I have the lens here too. Ah, this is the lens, so maybe it's. Uh, the compression it's pretty big the depth Sorry? of field on your photo is stronger than the digital yeah. one so i did some uh, photoshop uh, manipulation okay. to add some okay. cushion, cushion blur around the, the face but it's still not enough if you compare to the original one yeah the original plate here and uh, that's the plate i made so mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you really nailed it. Just my plate, my plate is a little bit cleaner than yours. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the the texture on her fingers is more interesting on your photo. Like she has like she has like uh, you know uh, elephant skin. Yeah. It's like yeah. really uh, uh, like she uh, she's made of clay. And, and in my photo, it's, it's still too perfect. Yeah, yeah. But this is always, it's like, um, when I did the picture of the uh, snowdrop, it was very similar, you know, the green colors, I just have here a test plate of the snowdrop because I sold already the, the original one. And uh, I don't know, uh, if you look at the snow, every, everything that was green turned instantly black and I didn't expect it, but it's pretty. I think you, you did really a great job. Yeah, I think it is, uh, I could uh, even add more contrast to make it even more dark and, and mm -hmm. uh, moody because like the, the shadow under the, uh, the chin on your photo, mm -hmm. even stronger okay. than on mine. I like so much the effect of wet plate is that, is that it makes a new vision of things you you already know very well and it it gives something new and in photo it's not so often that you get a new vision of things but still i don't want to just do experiments i just uh, during the experience i want to do some uh, uh real photography too so it sh should be a mixture about trying new things but still make good pictures. You know what I mean? I, I wanted to uh, art and experiments at the same uh, uh, time. Exactly. <laughs>